Once you have installed the Glacier Backup Package on your Synology NAS and have created your Amazon Web Services account, link in the description if you haven't, then you can proceed to set up your Glacier Backup. First we need to create a user in Amazon Web Services that has the correct permissions to handle these backups from your Synology NAS. From AWS Management Console home screen, click on the Services drop-down menu at the top left and then locate and click on IAM, which stands for Identity and Access Management. On the left-hand menu, click on Users. Click the Add User button. Create a simple but meaningful username and ensure the Programmatic Access option is selected. This allows us to use an access key and secret key to allow the Synology NAS to use the service. Once done, click the Next button. For permissions, select the Attach Existing Policies Directly box at the top and then use the search filter that appears to search for Glacier. Place a tick in the box that selects the Amazon Glacier Full Access. This is a quick way to grant the correct permissions for your Synology NAS to use the service effectively. For the tag section, you can leave blank or create some key value pair tags. On the review screen, you can check everything as it should be and then click the Create User button to create the user. Once done, you'll be presented with an access key and secret key which you'll use on your Synology NAS. Make sure you keep both of these keys safe and secure as you can't get access to the secret key later for security reasons, but you can create more whenever you like. Okay, that's AWS sorted. Now let's visit the main page of your installed Glacier Backup Package. Click on Backup on the left and then Action drop down menu and then select Create. Click Next, create a meaningful backup name, tick the conditions box and click the Next button. Enter the key details you created on Amazon Web Services, select your nearest region, almost cost effective, and adjust the multi-part upload part size to 128 megabytes. Your Synology NAS will now test the connection with AWS and check things over. Once successful, then select the directories and files you wish to back up and also the dates and times you wish to perform the backups. Setting this to the times you're not likely to use your Synology NAS or while your internet usage is low is ideal. Be sure to use an upload calculator to make sure your backups have time to complete. You can run the backup now or simply wait for the schedule to activate. Once the backup has completed, you can check the status of the backup on the main screen and also check the logs for more details. Also, after a period of time, you can also check your S3 Glacier area on AWS to make sure your disk station backup has appeared. But bear in mind, this could be 24 hours or so to appear. If you found this helpful, please like and subscribe for more future videos.